Hello there guys, this is Ross Fletcher here reporting for Snire Broadcasting. This evening I have Sally Ann Wilkinson from Wild in Art. Um, now Sally, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what Wild in Art plans to do for South Norfolk District Council? Absolutely, yes. Um, Wild in Art is working with the Norwich Forum Trust to put together a uh, mass participation public art event using a baby elephant as the uh, as the canvas, a 3D canvas. Okay. What we hope to do is we hope to engage sponsors, the business sector and public sector organisations, uh, together with artists and from the local communities, uh, to put together a to come together to create a explosion of creativity, which will come culminate hopefully in f up to 50 elephants which will be located throughout the whole of Norwich um, for 10 weeks during the summer next year. Some very creati creative ideas there then. Now um, what inspired you to use the elephant as your model? Well uh, what Wild and Art is about is about three, we have three values if you like, we have which is about creativity, conservation and citizenship mm -hmm. and so what we looked at was creating a range of animals that were endangered so on our sort of in our um, range are um, hippos and elephants and penguins and dolphins and soon to be polar bears and all of these animals a are endangered but mostly and most importantly they offer big surfaces big like the elephant the baby elephant, so a big flank a big bottom to be able to for the artist to be able to look at it and for it to be able to um, to be able to work on it so you can see the art before you can see the shape. So fairly uh, environmentally friendly here then? We have an education pack so hopefully what we're trying to do is to work with schools and young uh -huh. people so looking at how, how we can use creativity to explore issues around uh, conservation. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And are the elephants produced environmentally friendly or are you not too sure about the production? Well, I have to say we're looking into that and of course it's a real issue, but we are we can say that they are they are made in Europe. So mm -hmm. the footfall of the elephant is not as high. So we are very conscious of way how we transport them across to, to yeah. England. And have you done this sort of thing before in the UK? We have. We were the team behind uh, some of the cow parade events, particularly those in Europe. We are now we've now moved away from Cow Parade and we've do you know a sort of evolved and we've developed our um, our brand and our to, to be to be much more distinct from from uh, from Cow Parade events. But yes, yeah. so we sort of we, yes we are experienced in public art events like this. Now you said you're expecting around 50 elephants. Um, just so our listeners can find the elephants, do you know whereabouts in Norwich they'll be located? Well, I have to say I have to hand, my, hand you over to my colleague Darren Cross to talk about that. He's the events manager at the Norwich Forum Trust, who is sitting by the side of me here. Um, he is um, he's working very closely with the council mm -hmm. and his planning department. So I think we're going to have a, I think it's going to be a bit of a secret. But let me turn it over, hand okay. it over to you. Thank you very much, Sally. Um, yes, I think in terms of locations, uh, I, I don't think I'll give away any specific locations <laughs> just at the moment. Okay. They, the elephants will largely be located across the sort of streets, parks, and public spaces. Yeah, the main area. Particularly over the city centre, though some uh, may be out in the communities. There'll be a number of community projects uh, in, in sort of areas of the city, and, mm -hmm. and they'll retain those in their particular communities. And why did the forum decide to use these elephants then? To participate why did we get involved? Um, project, yeah. It's very much sort of going forward what the forum is about in terms of its events program at the moment. Uh, there's a, a growing focus on public art exhibitions, uh, utilising kind of the, the unique spaces that you've got at the forum, the big yeah. outdoor spaces. Uh, and the, the big atrium, the internal area. So making public, making art very accessible to the yeah. public. Really, it's not a paid-for gallery type uh -huh. space. Um, and what we're trying to do more and more as well is reach out beyond the forum, citywide and countywide. And not only yes, the the event takes place in the city, but it, but its reach is going to be county and hopefully regional wide in terms of offering people a chance to get involved with it. And that's a question for you, Sally. How will the uh, listeners be able to get involved with the project? How will listeners? Listeners to your listeners, website? Listeners, yeah. The young people of Norfolk. Well, I'm hoping that you're involved, I mean, as yeah. the Youth Action Group team. Um, and I'm hoping that um, 
How will I mean young people? We hope that they'll be participating in some of the schools' projects, for instance, yeah. um, of their own community groups, elephants. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. I mean, what we we really want it to be a um, within the exit exhibition oval. We want you know to have a a good representation of youth culture, as well as you know perhaps even you know and all different uh, mediums of art, from fine painting to mosaic to photography. So yes, we really really are keen to hear your voices yeah. uh, through the uh, and it's really the the, the, the elephant acts uh, tells the story I mean that's one of the pre, you know, how the project it evolves working with yourselves you'll see that the elephant begins to really hear you, tell your story and give you your voice yeah. too uh-huh. um, I think we're going to end it there then um, thank you very much to you both no, thank you. Thank you. And we're very much looking forward to uh, seeing your uh, your project come to come to fruition. Karen, thanks a lot.